Hi, Dr. Goldberg, uh, continuing our internal medicine series. Today we're going to talk about shortness of breath. Certainly going to see a lot of people with shortness of breath, uh, both in the office and in the hospital. Um, important for you to have kind of a differential diagnosis of shortness of breath. Very straightforward, but again, should be uh, at your fingertips. Number one, always think of metabolic problem first uh, or a blood problem. So is there a new anemia? Is there a new uh, diagnosis of hypothyroidism? Both these things can sometimes cause shortness of breath. <clears throat> Number two, pulmonary. So what's going on in the lungs? Uh, do we have some new COPD? Do we have a new diagnosis of asthma? Uh, do we have a new pulmonary embolus? Do we have a structural abnormality in the lung uh, or some type of a tumor in the lung? So obviously we'll need a chest x-ray, we may need PFTs, we may need a D-dimer test uh, to evaluate for preliminary for a pulmonary embolus. <clears throat> Third big category is cardiac. Uh, is the patient have an unusual form of angina? Is there some new coronary artery disease? Has, has the patient developed new valvular disease such as from silent aortic stenosis? Um, cardiomyopathy of course can also contribute to shortness of breath. So an EKG, uh, looking for a new uh, rhythm problem or rhythm disturbance could be related, such as SVT or new atrial fibrillation, and then an echocardiogram to look for valvular problems or a uh, structural problem uh, of the heart muscle. The last thing, of course, is uh, most obvious is uh, what we call deconditioning. The patients gained weight. They've developed some problems with obesity. Uh, or they're just plain, you know, out of shape. They've not been exercising. They don't have a lot of uh, cardiac reserves. So um, this is kind of a down and dirty uh, grouping uh, for four areas uh, that you got to look uh, look for when you're uh, working up shortness of breath, uh, and uh, both in the office uh, as well in the hospital. Hopefully this will help. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.